I can't tell, but it's just rip and drag. It's a little chilly out here. I don't know if you can see or not, but it's actually snowing a little bit. It's going to be a little cold. We're going out in the kayaks, going to chase after some muskie. Going to try and put flare on his first muskie ever, so that's going to be epic if we get one. Hopefully, he don't fall in. He really don't got the ideal gear to be out on the kayak, but I think we're going to be okay. We are not going after little fish today, boys. Throwing the big stuff. Yep, it's going to be interesting. We are musky fishing with bass tackle, so we'll see. Hopefully something chomps that. So you know you're going after big fish when your net is that big. What you think, dude? Ready. You going to get you a musky? Let's do it. So we're at the first spot, getting ready to drop the kayaks in. The main goal today is to just catch a muskie from the kayak. That's that's what we're after. We're throwing some huge baits. Hopefully gonna catch some huge fish. It might end up being a grind, but we're just gonna grind it out, try to find that big fish. Flair's never caught a muskie, so I really wanna see him hook up with, with a with a solid fish. And I don't know, I'm just gonna give it a shot. Oh yeah, a little steep. Try not to push Flair in. Things could get sketched really quick. All right, so. Probably just gonna let you slowly yep. ease her in, and then maybe we should have went front first. <laughs> this is like this is super sketch. I don't even know what to do. If you have to, you can pull. There's drain plugs behind the seats. Oh yeah, dude, that was clutch. That's like you've done this before. Um, I'd swing like a leg in. I'd say keep your center of gravity low. Which, oh. <laughs> Dude, straight pro status. You got it. You're, you're dude, clutch. Yeah, I'd clutch. 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 We almost lost a whole box of lures right there. Things are getting sketch. I'm gonna try a different different route. Slow down. Underestimate how slippery these rocks are. Clutch. Well, we've all successfully launched. Um, a little sketch, but we did it. We're all good. Got all our gear. Now we're going to go, hopefully, find some big fish. Yeah, so that's the bank that we just launched from. I don't know if you can really tell how steep it is, but it's it's pretty steep. And it's muddy, it's wet, it's slick. Pulling the kayaks up, it's probably going to be a little bit of a challenge, but we're not worried about that right now. We're just worried about finding fish. If you get a follow or if you like try to like at least do like a circle, like it's so tough in a kayak, like you can't really figure eight. I had to have just reeled it right past his face. Throw a hey, throw in there across that. He's in there. I just spotted probably about a 45 inch muskie right there. Next cast, make it a little bit more. That's crazy. That's the second one we've seen. Big girl just chilling in there. Oh yeah, big, like probably 45. Right, that's perfect. Throw maybe like a foot to your right on the next cast. Let me stand up and see if I can see her. Oh, she's right here now. She's facing me. Man, she's broad. She's right here. No, it didn't even move. I mean, she's literally right. She's right there. You're going to be bringing it right by her tail. Oh, she turned. She turned on yours, I think. She turned around. She's facing the other way now.
Yeah, she she whipped around on yours. So we're back at the put-in, getting ready to drag the kayaks back up that hill. Um, we saw some. We saw some actually really nice musky. Couldn't get any, anything to bite. I think I think they saw us, or maybe we were just being a little too loud or something. But um, there's definitely fish here. We're going to go ahead to another spot now, try our luck there, and hopefully finally hook up with one of these big things. Getting back to this spot has been the most insane thing I've ever done to get to a fishing spot. I don't know how much of it I was able to show you in this video because I kind of want to keep this place a secret. Don't want a lot of people knowing about this spot and how to get back here. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to show you. I really don't. But it was crazy. And it looks freaking amazing back here. And I, I just can't wait to get in the water. I mean, this, this place looks, this is like one of those spots that you dream of. Hopefully, hopefully the fishing's as good as it looks. All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, dude, that thing is fat. That thing is fat. Hell. Yes. Billy just caught a really nice fish. Not sure how big it is yet, but it's 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 pretty good. I was clear on the other side of this little pool here, and I, I heard him screaming and hollering. I got hung up. I look over and I hear him screaming and hollering, and I just see like, what look, I mean, this I just see this giant fish just rocketing out of the water right by his kayak. It was, it was pretty epic. He's got her. She's in the boat. We're gonna get some pictures of her and stuff now. Beautiful fish. Straight, just straight in a wrestling match with this fish right now, trying to get out of the net. Look at that thing. Fat, it is fat. It's so fat. It's pretty, pretty dramatic. That was pretty nuts. Yeah. That was a good it fish. It won't look like much on camera, but 20 yards from <laughs> or at least getting top of it. Yeah, I mean that. That was pretty. That was pretty wild. Man. Good fish too. I do it all over. Again. Looks like Flair just got one. I'm gonna head over and check it out, but he's freaking out, so it must be a good one. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, there she goes. That was just freaking nuts. I mean, I, that fish was huge. I don't know. It was pretty, probably like 25 pounds. Um, I don't even know what all I have on my stuff of it because I, I was just help, trying to help him make sure I, I got him the pictures and stuff that he needed. But he's pretty stoked. His first muskie ever is a giant. So, oh, that's awesome. Everybody's got one but me. Hopefully I can, I can get one for myself now. But that was pretty epic. Like, I'm pretty stoked just watching them catch fish. You know, at this point, me catching fish is just kind of a bonus. But man, I hope you guys are enjoying this stuff because this this is just this is crazy. This is crazy. If you're liking this video so far, please hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, yeah, this is this is wild. I hope my GoPro was on for that. It hit right at the freaking kayak. Oh my God. Dude, this one's really big. Holy crap. Oh my God. She's ready to be netted. Just chokes it, dude. Just like chokes it. 
I hope I can't even see the lure. I hope we can like I hope she's gonna be all right. Oh man, dude, that was freaking crazy. Another one sitting right next to her. That, that one just took off. Holy crap. Oh, now she wants to fight. This is just crazy. This is just absolute just nonsense. Another one came up and was sitting next to her while this thing's just chilling here waiting to be netted. She's coming, she's coming, she's coming. I think, I think, I think, I think. You got her? I hope that fish, I hope that fish does not die. Oh my God. How's that feel? This is the most epic day of musky fishing I've ever like seen, let alone be a part of. I mean, we've all got studs. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh man. That was absolutely insane. Watched her come up, just hit it probably two or three times before she choked it. And I was worried about it being too deep, but luckily it really didn't hit any of her gills or anything like that. And she should swim off fine. I don't think I've been this excited over a fish and it's probably been a couple years. I mean, that was, that was pretty epic. We've got three absolute pigs today. Oh man, I was grinding it out. I was grinding it out trying to get one and finally it happened. Thanks to, thanks to my man Billy up there. Let's see, let's let her go. Oh man. I'm gonna let her go until she's ready. Yeah, the, mine started kicking a little bit, so. Yeah. Oh, yours was fine. Yeah. There she goes, she's wanting to go a little bit. Not yet, girl. Yeah, she's there she ready. Goes. There she goes. Your boyfriend. That was awesome. I'm all slimy. Thanks, guys. Oh wow, guys! I am still just, just I'm shaking still from that fish. I'm trying to get my nerves calmed down, but I mean that was absolutely incredible. By far, the most exciting catch I think I've ever had in my life. I mean, the way she came up, rolled over that rock, and ate. It was it was unbelievable. Completely, just completely insane. You all probably know this guy right here. Yo. He caught his first muskie today. Yep. And it was it was a giant too. I mean, it was absolutely all these fish were just complete toads, just huge. I'm gonna put the link to his YouTube channel in the description. All of you probably know exactly who he is. It's Andrew Flair. In case you don't, definitely check his stuff out. If for some reason you've been hiding under a rock and haven't seen his stuff, I'll also link his video to this to this video too. So and there'll he, be a lot of links. Yeah, there'll be links check everywhere. We're gonna be linked up and. None of this would have been possible at all without this guy right here. He goes by Melton Hill Bill. That's Billy Davis. He is, Flair's calling him the, mus the musky king. Yeah. So, I mean, guy catches huge stripers, huge musky. He used to bass fish, and now he just chases dinosaurs, which right. I've questioned this pretty much since I've moved to this area. I pretty much questioned why I bass fish so much because <laughs> the fishing around here is incredible. But anyway... If you are in the East Tennessee area, want to catch some giant, giant fish, definitely hit this guy up right here. I'll put the link to all his stuff in the description. So all kind of links. Make sure you check him out.